Well, 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 I am thoroughly impressed. Welcome to the bougie side of life. Ah, oh, it's good you're finally here with me. Except it's not. This is all budget. <gasps> budget? Oh my god. I've been bouge bambled. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for some Mr. Bougie approved home decor updates for fall. These are all things that are gonna make your home look more expensive without breaking the bank. And my strategy here was to find designer home decor and find the look for a whole lot less, like a fraction of the price. So if you are new here, make sure you are subscribed and there may or may not be a hidden giveaway somewhere in this video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. Let's tackle our first space I wanted to update for fall and just in general make look nicer. And that is the entryway. This is the first impression of your home when people walk through the door. So you want it to make a good impression. My entryway was kind of sad and dull and it needed to be updated and then I came across this photo on Instagram by a girl's account Jessica Ann Reed I will link her below and I just thought this was the most stunning entryway but what I didn't love was the price most of this is Pottery Barn the credenza alone was over $2,000 so my first hack here is one of my favorite tricks I've ever shared and that is a reverse image search on Amazon this is a new feature go on to Amazon the app and then in the search bar there's a little photo icon press that you could upload your photo and it will scan through Amazon to find a match. And I found this credenza piece that I think has a very similar look and was literally a quarter of the price. So I just got two of these, put it together, and I think it is so beautiful and I've achieved the same type of look and did not have to break the bank. So I was very happy with this base. And then the fun part is to accessorize. So I liked how she had this tall vase to add some height to the space. This one was from Pottery Barn, very expensive. So I found this one for around 30. It's nice and tall. It has this beautiful texture to it. So I think it achieves the same look. And then I decided to put some fall colored branches and leaves in here to add a little touch of fall. Look, it may be in the hundreds here, but it's fall in my mind, as you can see. So we're bringing fall into the home. Next, you had this ceramic bowl also from Pottery Barn. I found this more wooden earth tone bowl that I really like. It's more scratch resistant, more durable because we do have kids. And then I kind of styled it with these pretty wooden beads that on Pottery Barn are over a hundred dollars and these I found for under 10 and they look the same okay nobody's gonna know and then for the artwork here her pieces were actually from Target but they were no longer for sale and I was able to find these similar style sketch prints three for $30, so a third of the price, and we had options. I added this other abstract neutral print, and then for this big blank space, I couldn't decide between this print piece here, so this is what this looks like, option one, or I thought maybe a mirror might look good here, so this is option two with the mirror. Leave your vote down below. What do you think looks better in this space? And I'm actually going to pick one person at random down in the comments to win a $200 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel with the notifications turned on and leave your comment down below. Last little finishing touches. I purchased the same coffee table books that she had. The other option here is they actually make faux coffee table books. They're storage boxes, but they look like coffee table books and they are a whole lot less. So you can go with either option and then she had this pretty magnifying glass that I was also able to find for nine dollars. I added one more sculptural decorative vase and here is the completed credenza area welcome area and I think it just looks so much more expensive but every single piece on here is extremely budget friendly so I'm very pleased with how this looks. Well 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 you know I do like a good credenza. I recognize this from Pottery Barn. It's good to see you finally splurged a little. Actually it's from Amazon. <gasps> Amazon? Like the jungle. Oh, so it's exotic Amazon wood. That sounds expensive. The next space I have a ton of ideas for easy home updates is the family room. Our family room majorly needed an update. If you've been with me for a while, you may remember we had an Ikea couch for over 10 years. And while I loved how it looked, it was never comfortable and it was time we got a new couch. So that was the one element we did decide to invest in because I knew we were gonna keep it for a long time and then 
everything else in the room that accented it is a budget-friendly piece. So the couch we went with is the Love Sack sectional couch. It was on sale, but they have a lifetime warranty on it and all of the covers are removable and washable. So that's just a great option if you have kids. And I decided to accent it with a new rug and I searched for so long to find the perfect rug. This rug was under $200 and it's so beautiful. I love the texture it has to it. It makes it less slippery for the kids running around and it just looks so expensive. It is a lighter color, but it has the touches of grays in it. So it doesn't pick up and show stains that easily. For the pillows on the couch, you've probably seen me talk about these amazing large throw pillows. They're the down, they give you that nice karate chop look and they have have a whole variety of different colors, textures, patterns of the covers that you can get with it. So we have about 12 of these all over our house, living room, family room. They are just the best. They look so luxury. Next element are accent chairs. We've never had accent chairs. And the ones that are very in style, you've probably seen before, are these ones. I did that same trick, did the reverse image search and found these for less than half the price. They look exactly the same. They were very easy to assemble and we've achieved the same look and then I updated the artwork. Before it was just a plain canvas and I like the look of the artwork with the frame around it. You could still find these on a budget and they look more high end. And then to tie the space together, I added a side table, a lamp. I love the base of this lamp. It has that cement look, the pretty texture, the linen lampshade, and it was a little too low, it didn't look right, so I stacked it on top of my faux coffee table books just to give it a little bit more height. Now my favorite change to this room is what you can see right behind me, the floating shelves. You may remember before I had a mirror here and I just feel that the styled floating shelves look very chic. This is very on trend in home decor. Every single thing on there is a Pottery Barn look for less. So this vase on Pottery Barn was 80 something and I found it on Amazon for 20. The frame, the wood beads, the prints on top, the vases, all of it is a look for less. So I will have everything I'm talking about linked down below as always if you want to replicate the look. I just think it makes the room look more styled. It adds some substance without looking cluttered. The frame TV, this is pricey. This was a splurge item. You can turn your regular TV that you have into a frame TV by following this hack. All you need is a Fire Stick or Apple TV. Download the YouTube app and you can search for art prints and it plays on a very long video, like four to eight hours. So that is a great option if you're having people over, if you're having a party and you want the look of wall art without having to buy the frame TV. And then for indoor plants that can really add some color and life to the space. I've had the same plant here for many, many years and I decided to update it with a faux eucalyptus tree. A lot of homes now I feel have the olive trees and the fiddle leaf ferns, but I like the tone of the eucalyptus leaves, that color and tone of green, I find very pleasant. So I decided to do something a little different and do the eucalyptus tree. We moved the coffee table from the living room in here temporarily just to see how it looks, but we will end up ordering a new coffee table. All of the accent pieces in here, every item of decor is budget friendly and it just really updated the space. I think it does give the cozy fall vibe. Okay, okay. I like what we've done here. <gasps> Floating shelves with some knickknacks. Look at this gorgeous autonomous scene. <gasps> I feel like I need a PSL. You have outdone yourself. Last space I just had to show you. This is one of my favorite updates I've ever made to my home and it is my cabana area. I realized that my favorite part about being on vacation is sitting by the pool in the shade reading my book. So I wanted to recreate that in my own home. So I found this cabana from Joss and Maine. It was $2,500 and I was like, no, we're gonna find the look for less. I did the reverse image search and I found this cabana frame that I really like. I went with the dark gray because I thought that would be the most resilient to weather. And then to soften it up, I added these white sheer curtains around it. And this is functional because in the early evening when the mosquitoes and bugs come flying around, I just close all of these and it keeps the bugs out. So I even added a rug. I added accent pillows, some blankets for texture. I found this set of outdoor side tables, which is just the perfect height for me to have my lunch, my cocktail, my water. I actually even work from here now. So even though this looks incredibly bougie, all of it again was affordable. So I'm very proud of this 
Bougiana budget masterpiece. It makes me so happy. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my home updates on a budget, designer inspired. If you wanna be entered for that $200 Amazon gift card, you just have to be subscribed to my channel with the notifications turned on and leave any comment down below. Check the description box if you are interested in links for any of the items that I showed in today's video. And with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video.